Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't know if you can tell by the voice, but girl, I have been feeling extremely under the weather this week. Uh, it's dumb, I'm annoyed, but today it's cool outside. It's like giving me all the fall feels and I can at least look forward to that. So I thought I'd pop on, give you guys a little video. I have some other ones that I've filmed already when I was like, regular, you know, pre-congestion, you know, pre-cough, you know, pre-sore throat, all of that. Um, and so those will be coming out soon, actually. Today I have for you a uh, haul with Express. I did partner with them on this video, so they're sponsoring it, which I, if you guys haven't caught the trend, I work with Express a lot, almost every month. They have become one of my favorite retailers. Um, I'll have the links for everything that I show you guys down below. I do wish heavily that they would expand their sizing a little bit like I just wish uh, and I like fingers crossed I'm sure that one day they will um, but Express has very much like vanity sizing their XLs and let's say they're 16s and their 18s and stuff like they fit very true if not a little big you know, compared to like your traditional straight size retailer. I will continue to rock with Express, although like I really, really hope that one day they choose to fully expand their sizing because I love their clothes. I always shop them when I have a coupon. I sign up for the texts, I sign up for the emails. I'm like a an insider, I think that's what it's called. And that's like the best way to save money on Express stuff. But they're like returns and everything are real simple too in case you get something that doesn't, you know, work out for you. Up top here, now I thought I would love this together and I'll show you why because my heels that I have on right now which Express has great shoes. I love their shoes and I love their accessories. Be right back. Let me put some earrings on. Let me pop on these cute little like flat gold um, hoop situations here. I mean is it a hoop if it doesn't close? I feel like it's not. I've been drinking tea you guys and like I really don't like it. My uh, friend, my creative director really on my shoots, she just messaged me a tea to try out and I was like Okay, put it in the bag. I'm gonna try that because I don't really junk with tea, but like when I'm not feeling great, obviously, I, I just, I need tea. That's what people tell me to do. They tell you to drink tea. So I just need like better recommendations because the stuff I drink is like weak and whack, frankly. But we've got some earrings. Like I said, I love their accessories. They have like statement earrings that I freaking live for. I've had some of them for three, four years at this point. They really make an outfit. It like really enhances a basic look when you add an earring. I'm not big on necklaces because <laughs> I get all red. And I'm not big on bracelets because they get in the way when I'm doing things. I just don't like them. Or rings, really. I feel like they make my hands smell like pennies. And I don't like that. So earrings it is. So I have this in an XL. It's like a double layered. Um, it has an ever so slight, slight give to it the actual seam on the waist does not have any give so really pay attention to the size chart to make sure that you know it's not going to be too tight or too loose on you um but it does have that double layer and then underneath it is like you know lined with a softer material so you're not getting that pleathery kind of feel against your skin it is so cute if you're not into the black i have another one i'm gonna show you but the reason i paired it with this top is because i have these black pumps on and they have this gold chain that goes around the ankle and I just thought it was so cute, the gold chain on the ankle. And these are very comfortable given what they are. They are very comfortable considering um, the width of my foot as well. So I just get them in a size nine. I really like their shoes. Like I said, they're very comfortable even on a not so narrow foot. But I paired it with this top because as you can see, we have these cute little chains Guys, this is so cute. And the way that you adjust it is by clipping it like to the next, you know, chain or whatever. I have the tag on there. I got this in an XL as well. I ended up, I don't know, you tell me, okay? Cause I don't know. I would for sure pair this with like a jacket or a long line blazer or something to kind of keep it edgy. Probably a really cool like quilted bag for sure. Like I could see a cool bag working its way into this. Something with a chain perhaps. Um, but I don't know. So this is with the skirt pulled up. The skirt where it naturally kind of wants to fall on me is about here and this I didn't like. Once I actually put the skirt up and made it a little bit more of a baby doll situation, then I thought it was cute again. So you tell me, what do you think? What do you think? Can you see the vision? 
let me change. Do we like it any more or less with a bodysuit? I love their bodysuits. This is a thong bodysuit. I like their thong bodysuits, um, but if you have a long torso, I would size up if you can um, because I find that when you bend over in the thong bodysuit, if you have a longer torso, which I really do not, then, then, then you are really gonna get to know the thong portion of that bodysuit. So just buyer beware. Um, but the actual feel of these bodysuits that they have, it's incredible. I feel like they're extremely flattering. The way that like, you know, okay, I have like, you know, jelly on my arms here, right? I love how I can like kind of just tuck myself in and it almost feels like I'm wearing shapewear like the benefits of shapewear without the downside of it being so restrictive and like feeling so uncomfortably, you know, tight sometimes. The bodysuits never feel like that. They're extremely comfortable, like regardless of which one these like contour bodysuits are. The bomb. They're so, so good. And they have so many different styles, different necklines, different sleeve lengths, different colors. They have a lot. I have another one to show you guys, but I just thought I'd give you the same outfit with a bodysuit. I mean, I like it. Maybe I should switch the skirt now, hang on. So I try to incorporate some things that you guys could actually wear like to an office or something because I know a lot of people have gone back to work or are going back to work. At least the people that I know in my life that like got, you know, they were remote. They're not necessarily anymore. Um, and you guys are always asking for work appropriate stuff. Now, mind you, the length of some of this stuff might not feel work appropriate, kind of depending on where you're at. But if that previous skirt, for instance, was too short, you could tie it together with, I would wear like black tights underneath it. But if you really wanted to be a little bit more discreet, you could do like a sweater black tight underneath it. So it's essentially almost like a pant. Um, or legging basically so then you're I mean that's very discreet like you're not even gonna see the color of your legs or anything so just keep those kind of things in mind but this skirt I thought was really really cute um, and I wasn't sure how it was gonna fit so I had to like do it in the front and then adjust it to the side so it might be a little crooked but it has this sort of tulip hem on it so it's like two different pieces one goes that way one goes this way obviously like hey tulip um, and then the waistband is so comfortable because it has this like stretchy layer in it it's really nice it's ruched on the side I would maybe do this skirt with a cami and a blazer instead of this full like stark white bodysuit or maybe a different color but I also picked up a jacket from Express so Express has really great uh, coats and jackets as well they don't always fit my arms so like this one's a little tight on my right arm um, but there are some jackets in my closet that I have purely for the sake of fashion basically um, and this would be like one of them because it's too tight on my right arm for me to feel like I'm gonna feel too, it's gonna be too cumbersome basically for me and I just can't deal with it I can't be so stimulated and thinking about one piece of my clothing but I always love the way it looks again I would pair this with like tights my, my very pale legs I feel like they're throwing the look off I'm sure you can kind of tell it's just like not quite big enough for me sometimes I just tear the lining I mean, it is what it is. I make it work when I need to. But I always like the look of like a layered kind of coat and then you can kind of still hold your bag and not worry about it being over your shoulder or whatever. So just, just a cute little look, just an idea in case, you know, maybe you have a jacket that's not quite fitting right these days. <laughs> I got a view. All right, this is different. Okay, haircut. Actually, I already got a haircut. I might get another one though. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this dress is super duper comfortable. This is something that like, like I said, their stuff tends to run, I feel like on the bigger side, cause this is an XL. I have plenty of, of leftover sort of space here, especially in the waist. Um, and then it fits very well around the bust and hips, the bust, the butt, also the bust, but the butt and the hips. Um, the length is, a, I would say, a tad long for me. Uh, I do have a mother who is very talented on the sewing machine. So it's very easy, you know, to hem something up or even just use that tape. Like uh, someone's always talking about that tape on Instagram. And it, you just, you know, you put a little bit around the hem and then you kind of tuck it to wherever you want it. And it tends to basically just stay. It can stay for like a night. I wouldn't wash it and expect it to stay, but it'll stay, you know, for a night out. Um, this is a very simple dress. So they have a lot like this, like ribbed, rib nets that are just super comfortable. It's just a good 
base, add a jacket, add a belt, add a boot, add a booty, like add some jewelry, add whatever it is that you need to add, but it's a really solid base. I don't know about you guys, um, but typically when I get dressed, I pick out my foundation first, right? Like I pick out, I mean, if there's like a pair of shoes I really, really, really want to wear, fine, I'll build around the shoe, right? I very rarely build it around an accessory or, or a, you know, a bag or a shoe. I usually build it around like, what do I feel like wearing in terms of my comfort level? Okay, like do I, am I okay with fussing tonight? If I'm okay with fussing, I'll wear something that has a belt, that has a jacket, that has, you know what I mean, like more to it, that has buckles, that needs to be kind of shifted every time I stand up. That's fine, but if I don't feel like fussing, this is the kind of stuff that I would gravitate towards. Something simple, comfortable, still very much stylish, still giving like body, and you can add whatever you want to it, but it's not something I have to think about and deal with while I'm wearing it. It's just comfortable, period. Oh, and Express always releases their stuff like this in plenty of different colors if you're looking for something else, but I thought green would look good, right, with my eyes. My hair still has so much green in it from dyeing the blonde, it kills me. I'm going to get this fixed before my best friend's wedding. So I have like a month to figure it out. <laughs> I think this dress is creating like a bit of an optical illusion. Okay, so as you can see, it's like this deep sort of wine burgundy-ish kind of color. Uh, it has shoulder pads, which at first I was like, shoulder pads? And then I was like, oh, shoulder pads, okay. I like it. It's a very modern feel to this dress. And then as you can see, we have the cutouts on the sides, right? So kind of this like diamond pattern sideways. And um, it's not bad. Like I just tucked my bra ever so slightly. There's my spider friend. <laughs> I haven't seen him in a few days. I just tucked my bra ever so slightly. And then my like shaper panty doesn't even come up that high. So it's perfectly fine. As far as, you know, undergarments go, you should be okay to wear a regular bra and even a shaper if you want, a short shaper even if you wanted. Um, maybe I would do that, I'm not sure. It does have a double like layer, so there's a lining underneath, which is really nice for that just kind of added thickness, you know? Um, it's very comfortable, it's nice and stretchy. The arms fit very well. Uh, I, I did not zip it up all the way, <laughs> but I did put it all together to confirm that it would zip up all the way. But uh, I'm gonna be honest, I just, <laughs> I'm not 100% right now, guys, and normally I would make it happen, but I can't make it happen right now. But this is a really, this is a really, really pretty dress, um, right? Like, is this wedding appropriate? Can y'all tell me, like, immediately? Because by the time you see this, the wedding will be very soon after that, and I, and I have to fly there, so, like, this is really pretty. Oh, I really like this dress a lot. So it's very comfortable. I would say it's pretty true. I'm a pretty solid 18 right now. So given that information, I would say it's running more, it's running bigger than an XL. But like I said, Express's XLs are not every other straight size retailer's XLs. They give you a little more cushion for the pushing, okay? Yes. So I, I don't wanna take the dress off yet, it's so pretty. Are there any OGs that remember the color Sarah? My very, very, very first collection that I ever did, the one that didn't end up coming out, you guys, that was like a, very much a theme in that collection. And I was recently looking at photos of it and I was like, oh, I like never say that anymore because I don't buy this color as much anymore. And just having this dress on is really reminding me of how much I love this color on myself, especially in the fall. Oh, this is a great dress. All right, if you thought the black one was maybe you know, not your cup of tea. How do you feel about this color combo? I I love it. I think it's super cute with like some thigh high boots. This is screaming autumn to me. This is screaming fall. It's just, it's just, it's in my face. So the top is super duper comfortable. It is not a full, full length, but it's not super cropped either. Somewhere in between is good for tucking for sure. Um, and then the same exact skirt as the black one in XL again this is also in an XL. It's really, really, really stretchy, so it's very comfortable. It's off the shoulder completely. It's gonna stay there. You shouldn't have a problem with it moving around too much. But overall, I just thought that this was like such a look. It's so cute. If you shop Express at all, you've heard about the Flex jeans. They're like it, they're all the rage. I have mentioned them multiple times now, but they are just incredible. They come in like regular sizing, like small, medium, large, extra large, right? And you're like, what? Like, that's weird, right? Because they look like regular old jeans. Girl, there's something about these. It says that like one 
size fits multiple sizes, right? And I'm like, eh, very skeptical. Now, I have a couple of pairs that I've shown you guys already. I wear an XL through and through, they fit great. I got these ones in the wrong size. I got them in a large. Um, they're not gonna fit me because I do wear the XL for sure, but they're an incredibly comfortable jean, you guys. I want you to try them. I don't know what else to say. They're not the most flattering on my butt, so I like to wear like a full coverage panty to kind of give my butt the little roundness it needs. But they are so comfortable. If you hate jeans, but you wanna wear jeans because you like the look of them, try these jeans. The waist is stretchy. The hip is stretchy. The booty stretchy. It stretches every direction. It's wonderful. All right, my original intention was to show you this body contour body suit with a pair of jeans, with the way it's working out, it's not working out. So, the bodysuit is great. This is just like the other one, except, like I said, they have different color options, different sleeve lengths, different necklines. So this is a scoop with a full sleeve. It's so comfortable. If you're just looking for a good staple, and I'm not the only one saying this, I've seen plenty of my friends and stuff online, like different influencers, hyping these bodysuits up, and there's a reason why. They are really, really great staple pieces like I've kept mine for a long time express stuff stays in my closet it's a great bodysuit and this is I guess this is one way to show you this is the length right so there's my crash boom this is the length it covers the belly which I really love um because not all of the bodysuits cover my belly but this one does a great job of it and then from behind it is a thong so it goes down pretty low and then it's a thong in the back the reason I'm not showing it tucked is because these pants are running more fitted than what I'm used to for sure. So these are size 18 with Express and they are a like regular uh, length. And these are the curvy, slim, super high rise. Maybe it's because they're the slim. Um, I wouldn't wear them like this because they're a little bit too fitted for me. Maybe if I was like ever so slightly smaller, uh, I would, but these are, overall, it's a nice pair of jeans. It's a nice thick pair of jeans. I do love denim like this. They're not crazy stretchy. That's why the sizing is a little off for me. I like to wear stretchy jeans, but um, I mean, overall, they feel really nice in terms of the actual quality of the denim and the rise and all of that. It's just a little too snug for you go. These are my favorite kind of tops to wear with jeans or with whatever when I want to be mostly very comfortable but i still want to look dressed up i freaking live for these tops the arms always fit me great which i love um so i got this in an xl this one's obviously green it has uh sheer arms and then you have a lining here you do have a defined waist here with elastic and then it kind of just loose out a bit so covers the tummy a little covers the butt a little bit i got it in this print as well so this one i thought i would tie with that um taupey not taupe but that camel colored skirt that i showed you guys wouldn't this go well with it? Yes. See? <laughs> but I would tuck the frill on the bottom just because I feel like it'd be a little too much going on. Now, originally when I got this skirt, I wanted it in the pink color. If you can see the skirt here, it has a slit on the side. It's that sweatery kind of material. Again, that very stretchy rib knit. It has a nice thick waistband that is also extremely stretchy, very comfortable. It's like wearing a sweater, just a nice sweater. So they had it in this like pinky color, but I didn't, uh, my size wasn't available when I was shopping. And I was like, oh, I'm still gonna get this top. Let's see, let's pair these together and see how it goes. The top is very stretchy again, very comfortable. It's this pretty little blushy kind of pink color. And the length, again, is very similar to that last shirt where it kind of comes down, not totally full length, not entirely cropped either though. I would probably tuck or I kind of like this like ruffle, like, not ruffle, but like kind of messy joining of the two. This is cute. I think I would have loved it if the skirt was the same color and kind of given that a whole monochromatic look with some like little blush pink like heels. Ah, that would be really super, super cute. The outfit as a whole though is very comfortable. Everything's very comfortable about it. And you can get this in black if you do want to be matchy matchy. All right, guys and gals, we are back. I put the little jacket back on. I have a little cami underneath. This is an XL, this is an XL, this is an XL. If you haven't noticed the theme, I buy XL from Express. Now, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll have the links for everything down below, and you can, I, everything should still be on the site. But like I said, if you wanna save some money with Express especially, I would highly recommend signing up for their emails or their um, text alerts. 
that's what I use. I also get them in the mail, so I always have a coupon on hand. They always have a coupon out pretty much. So hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna go lay my little sick butt down, girl. I just cannot. I'm gonna edit this actually though with a little cup of tea. Maybe some crumpets. <laughs> I don't have crumpets. I'm not even entirely sure what they are, but I do have some bread, some cinnamon bread, so I'm gonna eat that. Thanks to Express again for sponsoring this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!